multiplayer arguably makes games more fun. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the very basics of multiplayer. Create a script named network.gd and set it as a simpleton in project settings. Name its node network. If you type a simpleton's node name in a script, you can access it as if you were accessing any other script, and therefore call its functions and variables. Now we make our create server and join server functions. This network peer can be sent remote procedural calls, or RPCs, to call functions across the network. Of course, we still need to call our create server and join server functions in the main script, so let's do that now. Now we need two functions to send and receive data from our network peer. As explained before, we use RPC to send data to our peer. This form of RPC makes sure every packet gets to the peer, no matter how long it takes. However, what if you wanted to send something every frame? You would then use unreliable RPC. Unreliable RPC sends data much faster, but however, does not guarantee that it will make it to the peer. This is useful if you wanted to send something like position. The remote keyword in front of this function allows it to be accessed by an RPC. This system prevents players from calling functions you don't want to be called in the middle of a game. The run server func function is my way of calling a function from the server. The set text function just sets the text edit text to whatever was sent up the server. If you enjoyed the video or have any questions about what was covered in this tutorial, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm GameMakerPixel, and thanks for watching.